In this presentation, as part of course quantum engineering, I'm going to talk about topological quantum computation with Majorana fermions. I will start by giving some background on Majorana fermions, after which I will discuss about a very recent and first experiment which detected Majorana fermions. After that, I will discuss about quantum computation using devices based on Majorana fermions. So first, let us understand what Majorana fermions are before understanding their application in quantum computation. Majorana fermions were first theoretically discovered by Majorana in 1937. He proposed existence of spin half particles which are their own antiparticles. Known spin half particles such as electrons are not their own antiparticles. Majorana equation is similar to Dirac equation. Dirac equation has complex solutions and describes spin half particles such as electrons. Majorana equation predicts existence of spin half particles which are only described by real wave functions and thus are their own antiparticles. Gammas in, in the Majorana equation as you can see on the slide are tensor products of Pauli matrices. Majorana fermion can be thought as equal superposition of an electron and a hole. This sounds like excitons which are bosons and thus spin half uh, sorry spin 1 particles formed by bound states of electrons and holes whereas Majorana fermion is a half electron and a half hole. Currently solid state materials are being studied as candidates of achieving Majorana fermions. One such candidate is superconductor. In superconductors, superposition of electrons and holes as required by Majorana recipe commonly occur but, rapidly but are rapidly destroyed due to quantum fluctuations. Thus, for Majorana fermions to form, quantum fluctuations need to be cancelled so superposition states of electrons and holes can form. This is where topological superconductors come in. Topological superconductors combine gapped bulk with gapless surface excitations which are governed by real wave functions, thus making it possible to form Majorana fermions in such solid state systems. Majorana fermions have been predicted within the last decade to be achievable in systems such as topological superconductors since this system satisfies the criteria which can give rise to Majorana fermions. In terms of solid state physics, topological superconductors can be created by transforming topologically trivial states to non-trivial states, basically making superconductor a surface phenomenon instead of bulk property. This can be done by inverting the excitation gap in the bulk which forms a gapless surface. As shown in the energy level diagram, the energy gap near the Fermi level needs to be closed first, then reopened again which is basically inverting the gap. To do so, two competing factors are required. One factor tries to kill the induced superconductivity while other tries to revive it. Now that we have understood how to create topological superconductors, we can understand how Majorana fermions can be created. Recently, it has been realized that Majorana fermions can be induced in materials with strong spin-orbit interaction and in proximity of superconductor. Nanowire superconductor hybrid devices have been proposed. Figure on the right depicts such a system. Superconductor partially covers the nanowire which is above gate electrodes and connected to metal contacts. The yellow dots show where Majorana fermions would be created. The role of various components in these devices is as follows. Induced superconductivity in the nanowire due to proximity effect pairs electrons of opposite spin which produces a superconducting gap at the Fermi level. The external applied magnetic field tends to align electron spins and close the gap. Strong spin orbit interaction in the nanowire tends to reopen the gap. Thus, topologically non-trivial states which are Majorana fermions in this case are created. The one-dimensional system ensures only two Majorana fermions are created. Why study Majorana fermions as potential to be qubits? Topological qubits such as my, those based on Majorana fermions are, are prepared non-locally. 
as you sh saw in the last slide the two Majorana fermions are formed at two ends because they are specially separated they are highly immune to local perturbations and thus qubits based on Majorana fermions are predicted to have very high coherence any small changes in fields at this two end points a and b won't affect qubit state since the isolated Majorana fermions has no phase so again immune to local disturbances in this system quantum and thermal fluctuations which can alter the state of the qubit decreases exponentially as the temperature is decreased and distance between Majorana fermions is increased. Thus, these devices would function perhaps only at low temperature and longer nanowires would make the system more immune to disturbances. Exchanging Majorana fermions between the two positions A and B changes the state. Thus, a qubit state can be changed by such an interchange, which is known as braiding. Braiding of Majorana fermions is the basis of qubit operations in such a system. Since Majorana fermions have real wave functions, scattering phase phases shifts are limited to plus minus one. Unlike in other qubit systems, which have complex wave functions, and thus random phase shifts. The applications involve quantum information processing and quantum information storage. I will now discuss the first experiment which showed signatures of formation of Majorana fermions in nanowire superconductor hybrid system. This experiment was done at TU Delft in 2012. The image on the left is a SM, Im SM image of the actual device, the schematic of which is on the right. Indium nt nanowire is connected to a titanium gold metal contact on one side and partially covered on the surface by a niobium titanium nitride superconductor on the other side. Underneath the nanowire are gates which are used to control the ch charge density in the nanowire as well as create tunneling barrier. As I discussed earlier, a gap is closed and reopened to form Majorana fermions which can be seen in the Fermi level diagram. The red stars denote the position where Majorana fermions are predicted to form. The green colored gate electrode is used to create a tunnel barrier. Indium antimonide nanowire is used since it has high spin orbit interaction which reopens the superconducting gap and high electron mobility which means that only one pair of Majorana fermions is created as defects could give rise to multiple pairs. Very small Schottky barrier at metal and indium antimonide junction ensures high transparency contact to superconductor and the large G factor allows for use of low magnetic field to create Majorana fermions. Superconductor induces superconductivity while Titanium gold contacts are used to detect Majorana quasiparticle based on tunneling current. Gate electrodes tunnel local density of states. Devices kept in dilution refrigerator and measurements done at temperature of few microkelvin. Sorry, few millikelvin. So how do we know Majorana fermions have formed? There are some signatures which predicts the formation of Majorana fermions. Majorana fermions are localized quantum states and thus conductance at zero bias implies Majorana fermions may have formed. These zero bias peaks remain at finite field as prescribed by Majorana recipe. They are stable over a range of magnetic field as well as gate voltages. Conductance versus voltage plot on the right proves the above requirements. Zero bias peaks vanish when external magnetic field is aligned to spin orbit field of the nanowire. Thus, when aligned perpendicular, since that annihilates Majorana fermions. Further verification is thus the change in zero bias peaks due to magnetic field direction. In figure A, the magnetic field is in the plane of the substrate. Thus, when it is, par thus, when it is parallel to, nano to the nanowire, Zero bias peak is present as seen for angle pi or plot with the radical. Zero bias peak is absent when the field is perpendicular to nanowire and thus in the direction of 
spin orbit field as seen for the angle pi by 2 or plot with green curve. In figure B, the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the substrate. Thus, for any direction with respect to the nanowire, zero bias peak is always present. This first experiment proved formation of Majorana fermions. It should be noted that only experiments done are to detect Majorana fermions and no experiment till date has been done to study qubits based on Majorana fermions. So no comparative analysis with other qubit systems is done in this presentation since merits for comparison such as decoherence time or fidelity for qubits based on Majorana fermions need to be experimentally studied first. That said, recent theoretical study have proposed protocols for experimental study of Majorana fermions based qubits. An article published few months ago in Physical Review X has proposed milestones for Majorana fermions based qubit uh, based quantum computation. Proposed device geometries are shown here. Mainly two different geometries have been proposed. One consists of double topological superconductors as shown in figure D and other one consists of tri-junction geometry as shown in figure E. As seen in figure C and D, the cross indicates where Majorana fermions would form. The black lines which are either open or closed can be thought as gate valves. Depending on the valve being open or closed, which means positive gate voltage or negative, Majorana fermions would form compared to double topological superconductor. The purpose of tri-junction geometry is that it can allow easy exchange of Majorana fermions and thus has been main candidate in studying qubit operations known as braiding of Majorana fermions. The article also proposed came to measure dephasing time. As seen in the figure, qubit is initialized in ground state. A pi by 2 pulse is applied by performing some operation on gate valve and left it to evolve for time t after which another pi by 2 pulse is applied. The qubit state is rare and dephasing time is calculated. Braiding operations which allow for exchange of Majorana fermions in tri-junction geometry and thus allow for one for qubit phase to change is as shown in the figure. In figure A, single braid is performed which takes multiple steps. First, Majorana fermion 2 is moved to end of T junction by means of gate valve. Then, Majorana fermion 3 is moved to initial position of 2 and 2 moved to initial position of 3. Thus, positions of Majorana fermions 2 and 3 are exchanged. As shown in figure B, this consists of single braid. If one more braiding operation between fermions 2 and 3 is performed, a different qubit state is formed. Majorana fermions are not easy to detect, unlike other particles such as electrons, neutrons or photons which have been well studied and thus well implemented, implemented as building blocks of qubits. Majorana fermions have been experimentally detected just five years ago and still a lot of work needs to be done before qubits based on them can be realized. As of today, there isn't any merit of comparison between qubits based on Majorana fermions to other well studied qubit systems since other experimentally, uh, experimental challenges need to be overcome before a qubit on Majorana fermion is realized. First of all, there is a need to, for established detection scheme and requirements to ensure foolproof detection of Majorana fermions. Next, topological properties of Majorana fermions needs to be understood before its use to form qubits. Next, there needs experimentally proved scheme to control and exchange Majorana fermions as used for qubits and reading qubit state upon braiding operations. Further, experiments need to be performed to know decoherence time, dephasing time and measurement fidelity of the system. A major challenge is that topological quantum computation using Majorana fermions is not universal. Thus, there will be need to introduce additional qubit gate for forming universal gates. Also, there is a materials challenge in fabricating high quality T-shaped nanowires for tri-junction geometry. 
The experimental realization of qubits based on Majorana fermions might be few years away but holds great potential once experimentally detected, controlled and exchange, exchanging Majorana fermions has been established. The references shown here are good start for anyone interested in understanding more about Majorana fermions and its potential use in topological quantum computation. Thank you for your time and attention.